Yeah. We have a nice looking bass here. He look oh, he looks like he took the uh the Chernobyl. Alright. I think that's the first fish I caught on the Chernobyl. Hey, how's it going? At Outdoor Vector here. I'm out here at the local pond and it's pretty windy and I've always had this issue with the wind being out here and you're getting a lot of wind noise on the camera itself. So I'm gonna do a little test. I bought a new product. It's called the Rycoat Micro Wind Jammer. And if you look at it here, you can see that it's kind of like a, a little dead cat, if you will, kind of windscreen that goes on top of your mic uh, for your cameras. And it looks like you know it's got here a Canon camera as an example. But down below, you can see it's also you could also use it on your cell phone uh, onboard mic as well. So we'll give that a try. Right now, I've got nothing on the GoPro. It's just the normal stock camera mount. And let's just do a little quick wind test for the beginning point. So I'll just keep talking at this level volume and I'll kind of turn around. And the wind's going pretty good right now. I think it's about 14 miles per hour is what the wind report was. So I'm just going to do a full loop here and talk at the same volume. And this is all without any windscreen on the mic at all. And then I'll mount them on and we'll see if it sounds any different at all. You can see that it comes with these kind of double-sided tape little stickies, little round stickies. And basically here's the little windscreens that it comes with. And so you kind of, you stick these on top of those double-sided stickies and that's how you get it on your camera. But uh, on the GoPro itself, it's kind of small. So I actually took some scissors to this one and cut it down a little bit so that it fit nicely over the uh, edge of the GoPro itself. Here I took out one of the windscreen uh, material itself. You can see how it's just like this fuzzy material, right, for the windscreen. Cut the back of it so it'll fit a little better on the GoPro itself. There you go, I kind of mounted that material, the fuzzy material on the GoPro on top of that sticky and you can see how I kind of cut it to fit underneath that mic there. And I'm going to have to do it here for the top too, for this little top tiny mount. Um, this little pinhole that you see, that's another mic on the top of the camera. And I think I'm going to trim some of this fur off just so it doesn't get in the picture actually up into the lens. Alright, so here we've got the uh, little fuzzy dead cats, if you will. Or this material mounted on the two mic areas of my GoPro Hero 9. And you can see I've got one here on the top and I can kind of cut the little stickies to fit a little better, otherwise it would be kind of little big on top of the GoPro 9 for both the top and also the front uh, mic. And then I also trimmed down the fur a little bit just because it would be really blowing in the wind and it might block actually the camera, the picture uh, with the fur. I might need to cut it some more after I do some test footage, but I think this should be okay. So let's give it a try and see what it sounds like now. So now I've got those micro uh, wind jammers made by Rycoat mounted on this GoPro uh, Hero 9 camera on both the front mic port and also the top little pinhole mic port on the top of the camera. And I'll go ahead and keep talking at this same volume, which is the same as before. The wind is going about the same as it was uh, previously. And so I'm just gonna turn around here and keep talking and compare the uh, footage and the audio quality from uh, before mounting those things onto the stock camera and after. Uh, so something to note here is I'm not using any sort of external uh, microphone recording right now. I'm just using the stock uh, mic that's built into the camera itself. Uh, that's probably another option I could explore later, but I kind of wanted to see you know, if this would help things out and how the audio, audio quality would be before I jump into trying to buy some external mic to stick on it. Um, because when you do buy an external mic uh, for the GoPro Hero 9, I think I've got to get that uh, media mod for the GoPro itself so that I actually have a little 3.5 millimeter jack uh, to do the um, external mic uh, addition. But um, hopefully this is a little better now with this uh, micro, uh, Rycoat Micro Wind Jammer. And the wind's going pretty good right now. I think it's about 14 miles per hour is what the wind report was. So I'm just going to do a full loop here and talk at the same volume and this is all without any windscreen on the mic at all. And compare the uh, footage and the audio quality from uh, before mounting those things onto the stock camera and after. Okay, today I try to give a little floating hopper a try, or I think this is actually called a uh, Chernobyl. So we'll give that 
fly a try and on the bottom I've got a a Pat's rubber leg so we'll see how that does it's pretty windy out here so hopefully um, we can see if we can get something here like my Pat's rubber leg is actually a little heavy for this Chernobyl. This it's gonna bring the uh, Chernobyl floater down as well. It's okay. I did a big mend there just because I wanted to keep the fly in this lane here when I kind of slowly pull it in. Not sure if you're able to see it or not, but um, basically there's this vegetation here that's coming in two big uh, swaths. And so I'm trying to work my fly kind of right down through the middle of that swath of vegetation. One, hopefully it'll keep me from getting snagged up. And two, I think probably fish are hiding in that vegetation and they come in and out when they see something they may want to feed on. So at least that's what I'm hoping, and that's my theory. We'll see if it pans out, actually. All right, fish on. Yeah, we have a nice looking bass here. He look, oh, he looks like he took the, uh, the Chernobyl. All right. I think that's the first fish I caught on the Chernobyl. There you go, fish on. So overall, I would say I would recommend these Rycoat micro wind jammers. Uh, I think, to, at least to my ears, I could tell a difference after they were mounted that it reduced the wind noise. Um, a lot of times when the camera was facing directly into the wind, you can hear kind of a really loud, deeper wind sound in the background. And with these mounted, it seemed like it was reduced some. Um, but, I mean, it's a low threshold of investment anyway. I mean, you in this one pack, you'd get 30 of those double-sided stickies and six of the um, reusable uh, fur or hair covers. I paid about $12 for the package, but then I also had to add on about $5 for shipping. So it was about $17 investment overall. But I think, you know, that's reasonable considering the fact that you get, you know, six different covers and then, you know, a bunch of stickies to go with it in yeah, case you have to reapply and take like them off and put there. them back on. Yeah. Or even, you know, take it from one camera and move it to another. So I think it's worth the cost. Overall, then, I would recommend these windscreens. Give them a try. I think you might like them. So hopefully if you found something useful in this video. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe below. It really does help out the channel. Well, that's it. Until next time, have a great time outdoors.